I'm Don Robinson. I'm Project Executive for the Environment Agency um, on the Ripon Flood Alleviation Scheme. It's a £14.4 million uh, scheme incorporating the Labour Dam, which you can see here, and works in the town about three miles downstream uh, with rivers and walls uh, and some works to a weir. This project was started because we had some very serious flooding in Ripon. Uh, the onset of flooding was a one in five year um, return period, which is people getting water in their front doors every, every five to ten years really. We then did some work to uh, find out what the problem was and we looked at various different options um, and we came down in the end to uh, a dam upstream which stores the water during heavy floods and then banks and walls downstream to top up any low spots. During normal flows the water goes straight through the, through the, through the dam um, and higher flows the hole isn't big enough to let all the water through so it stacks up behind the dam and is let out slowly so it uh, works very effectively as a flood alleviation structure. Uh, for any given scheme we'd select uh, three, three contractors to go forward to bid. It's base 50% quality, 50% on cost. In the end on this particular job the costs were reasonably close um, so it, it came down a lot to quality and InterServe came out best on the market for this one. This scheme will provide flood protection to uh, over 600 properties um, in the city of Ripon. It will provide flood protection to a level of one in a hundred years return period which is similar to the middle of York, so it's a fairly high, high standard of protection. Hi, I'm Dean Hamblin. Um, work within the asset systems management team within our area function um, and client representative for the job, um, the Rip and Flood Alleviation Scheme. As from the client point of view, I'll be looking after the operation and maintenance of, uh, of the scheme once we've concluded the construction health and safety, um, some environmental and probably the community engagement and relationships that has been forged through the construction period. Working from a community engagement point of view, certainly we've worked very closely with the residents along Borridge Lane through Ripon where we've been working tightly in their back gardens, very close to their properties. So we've had uh, ongoing discussions with those to make sure that it fits in aesthetically with their bespoke property and fits in with what they want for their garden going forwards. As a government organisation, obviously it's imperative we work well with our communities and everything is paid for by the taxpayer and therefore we, we work very closely with the taxpayer. And InterServe have had exemplary performance with um, the uh, PR end of things. There's also uh, health and safety is paramount. From the health and safety foot in, we'll be looking for final finishes and, and public safety issues really, so risk assessments um, and construction that's leaving the environment safe for the public to use wherever they have done in the past. With, with our name, the Environment Agency, the environment is obviously very, very important to us. So ecologically, with regards to wildlife, certainly the project's put into place um, a number of, 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 of elements where we've taken what was there originally and enhanced it to make sure that going forwards, once the scheme's in fruition, uh, that we have a better environment for fish passage and for ecology generally. We're actually standing here in, in a triple SI We've had to do an awful lot of work to ensure that we don't damage it and what we do damage we put back. This particular scheme, being um, a dam upstream of, of the town, is, is very large scale. This is taking 18 months to build, as you can see it's an extremely large structure. But when it's finished it'll just be a grass bank in the middle of a field, we landscape everything, uh, we try and make sure everything looks as natural um, as it did before, and preferably better, and people forget very quickly uh, that, we, that we've ever been. Um, however, it does provide a 100 year standard um, to protect the people downstream. Just from, again, the community point of view, working with the locals to ensure that construction issues and construction traffic have been fitting in, and so some of the um, environmental issues around dust and noise that you're going to get with construction are managed, um, and that the, in, in the engagement with the community is up front and they know what things are going to be happening, um, and therefore they're ready for the slight and minor and short term disruption that construction is going to bring. We also encourage, uh, under the con ECC contract and such like, uh, close team working. It's very important to ensure that all the communication channels are very strong between each different element of the team. All lessons are learnt and are transferred back to the different organisations so we can have the safest, most effective build in the shortest possible time. We try and get an, an intelligent approach to this, so that's intelligence from the, from the client in providing very good upfront information, intelligence from all the suppliers in ensuring that everything is communicated within the team so that any extra information that could help build the scheme is provided as early as possible. It's very important that our contractors 
work with us to provide schemes that are best practice and that have the least footprint on the environment in, in, in every sense, not just the amount of carbon they use in constructing the scheme, but the fact they last for a long time um, and that when we've finished, you can't see we've ever been there. The work that's been done um, has been of exceptional quality. We're actually getting a scheme in the end that uh, we, are, we are very pleased with as a, as a, as a client.